Okay, the identity control compact Ethernet is connected, ready to go. Ethernet cables plugged in, power cables connected, and both the green LEDs, power and link, are lit green. So the first thing we want to do is power off the unit and then rotate the switch to the A location. Now if you are buying a brand new unit, this comes in, in the box, already at the default and already in the zero location, you don't have to do this. Because this was a demo unit, I can, s I can reset the IP address back to default by this procedure. Okay? So once it's in the A location, I can then turn the power back on. Make sure it's completely powered up. Look at the LEDs in the front. After that, rotate it back to the zero location. You always want to make sure it's left in the zero location because any IP address that we change it to in the web interface, we want to make sure that it, it sticks to that IP address the next time it powers up. Okay, my identity control compact is all connected, wired up. First thing I want to do is check my IP address to make sure it's compatible with the default. I previously configured it for 169.254.10.13, see it here, which is fine. And then I'm going to ping ident control just to make sure it's been connected properly. Great, it is. So I'm going to minimize this. And now I'm opening up my web browser, in this case Firefox. First thing I want to do though is turn off the proxy. Sometimes this is configured and uh, you know for an office, but not used when you want to talk directly to ident control. So go to options. And now go into under network, advanced network settings, and uh, make sure the no proxy has been turned off or clicked. Hit OK. And now we're just going to type the IP address directly into the address bar. OK, there it is. And we're going to go to network and change the IP address. The, the um, username and password is this ident control, so we're going to type that in here. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to change this because the whole point of this exercise was to change the IP address using the web interface. I'm going to change it to 172.18.30.51. Okay. I'm going to leave the subnet mask and gateway alone. That's okay. I'm going to do a save and reset. Now I won't be able to just type the IP address of the new, uh, the new IP address directly in the w in the address bar because my IP address of my PC is wrong. So I need to reconfigure it. To do that, I'm going to go to my network and sharing center, click on local area connection. Click on Properties. And I'm going to go to this Inner Protocol version 4, Properties. And I'm going to change this to something that's compatible. With my IP address. So I'm going to just make this 172.18.30.2. Hit OK. And then I can just retype the new IP address in here. I need to do something else with it. And that's it.